Hey everybody! It's been a little while, but today I thought I would do a rant, rant, ranty, ranty, is ranty a word? A rant style video because I haven't done one in a while and I actually, I enjoy watching people's rant videos and I like doing some rant videos and I feel like I'm a good ranter. I enjoy ranting a lot and it's just a way to express your frustrations and your feelings and it just makes you, it feels good after just to get it all out and now I'm probably tired of the word rant, ranting. Now it just sounds like an, a non-word. That's a thing. Anyway, today's rant video is going to be the annoying things that people say to single people. Now I'm going to rant about this because I feel like I'm an expert in this area of singleness because I am single and have been single for the last 21 years. So I figured why not let you know what things frustrate me. Alright, so I wrote them down in my little book here and I'm going to proceed with ranting about them. So number one is when people find out you're single and they say, oh, that's okay. And it's like, um, they make it seem like you have some sort of like disease, this like singleness disease. And they're like, oh, it's okay that you're single. But in their head, they're thinking, you, like, why are you single, you freak, kind of thing. But I just, I absolutely hate it. And it's just like, don't worry. I can be single if I want to be single. And you don't have to make it seem like I have this, like, contagious disease. And if you don't hurry away from me, you might catch it. So just, let's just refrain from the, uh, awes and that's okays. And, you know, like, the sympathetic gestures when someone says, oh, I'm single. It's not a bad thing, it's not a disease, it is okay to be single. Just, it's okay. Next up is when people say, there's plenty of fish in the sea, or you'll find him one day, or her, find her one day. And it's like, thanks, um, I didn't already know that. I didn't realize there were like over 7 billion people in the world. Thanks for reminding me because pff, I kind of forgot. I thought I was the only one here. So no, you don't need to remind me of that. I know that there are lots of people in the world and I have lots of opportunities. So just, just, you don't need to. You don't need to just drive home the fact that, you know, we're single, but don't worry. There are people out there and you will find them one day. And it's like, yes, I assume I will find them one day. It's just gonna take a while. So don't, don't need the reminder. Just don't, just don't. Uh, number three is when people say, I can't believe you're still single. You're so pretty. Or, you know, for guys, you're so good looking kind of thing. And it's like, um, number one, it's not all about looks. Let's just throw that out there. It has a little to do with personality. So if you're single, it's, you're not single because you have a crappy personality. I mean, you might be, but I mean, I personally don't think. And foot in my mouth. Okay, moving on from that. What I mean to say is that it's a stupid thing to say to someone why I can't believe you're still single because you're so pretty or good looking because that just makes you as a single person feel crappier because you're like damn I am pretty why aren't I in a relationship why hasn't somebody been like yep damn I want her she's mine I'm gonna wipe that up so don't don't need the reminders that hey I'm pretty and single or pretty single <laughs> So let's just, let's just stop from doing that. And I think it especially is the most annoying when it comes from uh, either other, obviously people in relationships or even other single people. When other single people, can you go, well, you're so pretty, how can you not be in a relationship? First of all, don't say that because you're just gonna make yourself feel crappy because you're like, oh gosh, if that pretty person's single, then I'm never gonna be in a relationship. So just all around don't say it and life will be good it'll be good and again what we can take from this is that just because you are pretty doesn't mean you are automatically supposed to be in a relationship or that you are pretty on the inside that's hot that sounds harsh but it's the truth hashtag truth of the day number four is when friends or other people who are in relationships say, oh, I know so-and-so, I think you guys would be perfect together, maybe I can set you up. No, that is never a good idea. 
never, 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 ever. Unless your friend, your single friend, you know, unless we specifically ask, can you set me up with that person? Don't just try to set your single friends up with anybody. It's not good. And it kind of just feels like you're like this charity case that your friend needs to help out and be like, oh, I need to get you in a relationship. No, no, you don't. I'm going to get me in a relationship. That's, that's just how it's going to be. I don't, I don't need your little, you know, help here. Just because you can get boyfriends or girlfriends, it doesn't mean that you need to get me one. I will, I will get myself one. So thanks, but no thanks. Number five is the absolute, like, worst one, like, the my blood boils when I hear this said to me and it has been said to me it has been not in so many words but like that's what they're basically saying but they're trying to say it in a less mean way but it's still mean and what I'm talking about is when someone says maybe you're too picky <sighs> breathe in and out breathe in and out I am not too picky that's just right off the bat it's not, I don't see knowing what you want in a relationship and out of a partner as being picky. Being picky, I see as, you know, you're like, oh, he needs to be rich or I need to make, like, he has to give me lots of presents all the time or he has to have, like, a specific eye color or specific hair color or body type uh, or, you know, like, that's picky. When you know what kind of relationship you want to be in and what type of person you want to be in a relationship with that is just knowing what you want so just don't ever say to anyone that you're too picky because it's just it's mean it's mean it's hurtful and you know let's be honest you're just trying to make yourself feel better and I mean, normally, when someone says you're too picky, it's usually because they wanted to date you, but you rejected them. So you just need to suck it up and keep the mean comments to yourself. And if that person didn't want to date you, that means that they are not the right person for you and you're not the right person for them. So move on with your life, okay? So don't dwell on it. Don't make mean comments. Refrain from the word picky and life will be just peachy. All right. That was the top five things that are most annoying when said to single people. So I think what we can take from all this is don't say these to single people. <laughs> so if any of you who are watching this are single out there and you agree with uh, anything I've said or you have any other ones to add, make sure to leave a comment below and thumbs up the video. These are just my own personal feelings on the subject and like I said there's probably like a, a whole bunch of other ones out there that I just I haven't thought of at the moment so like I said if you think of them leave them in the comments below I'd like to see what you guys think. So people in relationships there's no hate on you guys. Uh, congratulations for being in a relationship. It's just now you are no longer single so you need to just not I don't know what don't like to your single friends or family members or single people in your life don't don't rub it in their faces or make them feel bad for being single because as I said singleness is not a disease it's a choice kind of in a way and you don't always need to be in a relationship in fact it's probably good to be single for a while before you jump into a relationship with someone because generally you're in a relationship because you're hoping to one day you know get married so don't just be in a relationship just for the heck of it be in a relationship because you actually see a future with that person otherwise just be single because being single is pretty awesome and you can do what you want you can eat what you want you can go where you want you can do what you want, you can spend your money how you want, you can just, it's just ultimate freedom. So don't tie yourself down if you're not seeing a future with a person that you're potentially wanting to be in a relationship with, just for the heck of it. Um, that was pretty deep. That was my deep talk of the day. So, yeah, I think that's... That's all. That's that's all I got. That's the knowledge I have in my in my head here. I've imparted it. 
So yeah, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. I know I've said that twice, but I'm saying it again because I like those thumbs up. They let me know that you like the video. <laughs> I think that rhymed. Now I, I, I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore. So thanks for watching and I'll see all you fine people next time. Bye. Guys, so I did the H&M stuff and the Forever 21 stuff in last week's video. So this week I'm going to show you what I got from Reekman's, um, uh, what was it, Victoria's Secret Pink and Smart Set. And then I think there might have been something from Old Navy.